This is the quest list. You'll notice it is a list of various things that you can do. Some of them are assignments and some of them are just things that you want to learn in the class. If you scroll over, you will notice that they are labeled as either tech objectives or methodology objectives. Scrolling down, I can find some ones that are badges. So we have these three different categories. So this is the quest list and I maintain the list. So what you want is your own copy so you can keep track of what you have and have not done. So for that purpose, I have created a personalized quest sheet. When you get the personalized quest sheet, you're going to want to file and make a copy. Now this is how you turn stuff in. So you would say, use this to turn in quests for CI149 or something. I'm using capitals so I'm yelling at myself. So I go ahead and I make a copy. And then go ahead and put in your ID number here on the first tab and your first name and your last name and then your email address. And then whoever your teacher is, Keeler or Nelson. And that just gets you started. If you want to, this is completely optional, but this link right here will help you to sign in daily and it just pre-populates your name and ID number and email address. So it's not you don't need to use it. You can always type that stuff in yourself from the site. On the second tab down here at the bottom, you'll notice there's tabs at the bottom. So the second tab is called My Records. If you want to, you can grab that and drag it so the records is now first and the directions are second. And so this is going to be a copy of my quest list so you'll be able to see what's on my sheet. It's got the methodology and tech, tech objectives. But then here in yellow, this is for you. You can put whatever you want in there and I highly recommend that you check off the quest that you've done. I will never see it and it's not intended for you to share it with me. It's for your own records where it says my comments and my evidence that is strictly for you. If you don't want to put anything there, I will never see it. It's just to help give you a little space to keep track of what you have and have not done. So over here I have uh, on column I is a link to be able to turn it in. So if you want to turn in quest number five, you would click on the cell and then it creates this go to link and I click on the go to link and it's going to pre-populate your instructor's name, the ID number, the email address, your last name, your first name, the quest number, the objective title, and whether or not it's technology methods or a badge. So all you have to do is give me the link that's on your blog. So if you go to your blog and you find the page that has the evidence and then you would take that link and submit it there. Now it is really important that is the link directly to the page with the evidence and not just your blog or excuse me your digital portfolio in general. Um, so you want to look at the URL and it should include information about that. So if you go to my website you'll notice here up in the URL, excuse me here's the website, and this just is the site and it's slash nothing. So if I go to daily, you'll notice it now says slash daily. So if I were to use this URL and copy and paste it, it would give you the link to the daily page. If I wanted a particular day, like I wanted to turn in day, I like to scroll through, here we go. If I wanted to turn in day four, I'd have to actually scroll down and click on day four and then what you'll notice is the URL at the top would actually say day four that it would match the title of your page. So whatever page you're on, double check that the URL is at the top. So you'll want to highlight the URL, copy, command C on a Mac, control C on a PC. Then on that form, you will command V paste and you'll paste the link to where the evidence is. So you'll notice that the link includes the exact title of the post. Now not everything needs a reflection. 
And let's say you're combining five quests together. Does the page that the quest is on have a reflection? Um, but in general, everything you do should have a reflection. Uh, you are in college. You are expected to have things at college level writing. And if you would like to give me some comments, like some of them, there's, uh, it's not obvious or there might be reasons why that particular quest uh, you were not able to put on your blog. For example, your model release where you signed it with your name, you do not want to put your signature on your website. So don't do that. And then you would just hit submit. And that's how you turn in quests.